Vault 79 was constructed in secret as a way to shelter the United States gold reserves. The vault would be guarded and occupied by soldiers and secret service members. One night, a group of soldiers stole $20 million in cash from the vault, then left their posts to gamble at the Las Vegas Strip. Desperate to keep the vault a secret, the government ordered Las Vegas police to engage the runaway soldiers at the Ultralux Casino. Despite the soldiers' attempts to surrender, all were killed. Instead of revealing to the public what really happened and how those killed were army deserters guarding a gold vault, the police told the public that they were mobsters and that the shootout was a significant blow to the organized crime in Las Vegas. The soldiers had all their records and identities wiped clean to prevent anyone from figuring out what really happened. However, there was one soldier who wasn't present at the Ultralux at the time, instead having stayed at the Lucky 38. The soldier, Catherine Montgomery, barricaded herself in one of the suites of the 38 with duffel bags full of cash. Before police could break down her fortifications and apprehend her, she had escaped using a bedsheet rope and went on the run. This would begin the weekend-long manhunt for what the media believed to be one of the most notorious Chinese spies in US history.